fresh off a strong earnings report and raised guidance for the year. Rockwell Automation is out with its annual sustainability report. And here to break it down for us is Rockwell Automation CEO, Blake Moret. Blake, good to have you on the show again, and, and thanks for stopping by. Look, I know you work with a lot of Fortune 500 companies, including just about every major auto manufacturer out there. How are you helping your clients use technology to reduce their environmental footprint? Well, uh, it's a fact that over 20% of greenhouse gas emissions uh, come from industrial processes, from manufacturing, whether it's automobile production or clothing manufacturing. All of these things uh, can uh, benefit from the efficiency to make more with less, to have good visibility to what they're using so that they can balance the load. And uh, that overall visibility leads to a lot of opportunity for huge advances in terms of being able to be good stewards of scarce resources. So then tell us how you can have, because when I think of manufacturing, I don't necessarily think of, you know, good for the environment. So how is carbon neutral manufacturing even possible? Well, um, I'll start uh, in our own backyard. Uh, uh, Rockwell is a large manufacturer in our own right, and we've set goals to be uh, uh, emissions neutral by 2030 in terms of uh, what we're doing in our own factories. And so when you look at, uh, for instance, an automobile manufacturer, to look at the amount of electricity and natural gas and other inputs to their processes, Typically, they're not running as efficiently as they can, so we help them with the technology to be more efficient, to be able to identify new targets, to be able to reduce the amount of energy that they're using and still produce at a very high level. Is there a particular, you, you, you work with lots of companies in different industries, is there a particular industry out there that's sort of out in front when it comes to ESG impact? You know, I think all of the industries are recognizing that uh, it's important uh, for their own uh, business plan, for their own P&L, but it's also important uh, for their customer base because we found, as our customers have, that uh, this is important for uh, the customers that they're uh, selling to, to uh, make sure that they have a plant and they have a continuous uh, process of improvement. Automobile manufacturing is certainly one cement and steel production are traditional high energy users. Even oil and gas production has a huge opportunity to be more efficient and uh, to, uh, to be able to limit uh, emissions. You also, in this report, the sustainability report, you actually call out some customer success stories. Can, I know First Solar was one of them. Can you share a couple of those with us and, and why they're so successful? Sure. You know, there's there's a few areas that we're targeting as we look at improving our customer sustainability. It's the use of energy as well as the creation of renewable sources of energy. And with First Solar, we're very proud to be participating in the production of two brand new photovoltaic cell plants, one in the U.S. and one in India. It's also about uh, water, water treatment uh, and the transportation of water. Uh, the needs are only going up and to be able to do that as effectively as possible to provide clean, safe water is important to everyone. And then waste and being able to reduce waste either by reusing or recycling, that's a hugely important topic to uh, many of our customers. And lastly, I just want to touch on earnings. Um, you had a great earnings report recently. You said orders rose more than 40 percent over the prior year to two and a half billion dollars. What's your share with us what your guidance is uh, for this year as well? And where are you seeing the most momentum coming from? Yeah, so uh, organically, uh, we're guiding to over 15 percent growth in the uh, fiscal year. And it's really a combination of um, First of all, automation is becoming more important to customers in a variety of industries, uh, in part due to the ability to increase sustainability. It's about the position in the cycle, because we do believe that we're in the early stage of a period of economic expansion. And then finally, it's about Rockwell's unique position in this industry. I want to get back to something else in the report, and that is uh, sort of framing cybersecurity 
as a sustainability tenant. I mean, that's a little bit unusual. Tell us why you're doing that and how you're doing that. Yeah, so think about uh, think about sustainability and cybersecurity as aspects of resilience, being able to do what you're doing as a manufacturer and to keep doing it with minimal disruption because things happen when disruptions occur. You're in a more unsafe situation. You're not as efficient. And so when you think about being more resilient through cybersecurity, you can continue to operate these processes with a minimal amount of volatility. And so in that way, it's similar to being good stewards of energy inputs and being, uh, and being more sustainable. All right, Blake Moret, CEO of Rockwell Automation. Thanks so much for being with us.